I'm going to a very important business meeting right after my workout today. <laughs> Today we're recreating iconic fitness magazine covers. I'm recreating Shakira from Self Magazine. I play wheelchair basketball. I've been playing for 10 years. Participating in something like being on a magazine cover is a good way to show that a woman with a disability can be a sexual person. I'm recreating Khloe Kardashian's Health Magazine cover. Beauty comes in different forms and sizes. I love hiking. I really haven't seen a trans individual as a model for the cover of any fitness magazine yet. I'm creating Clarissa Shields cover from the ESPN body issue. I'm nowhere near this girl's level. Just so strong, so awesome, and she's at the top of her sport. I'm recreating Carly Kloss from Women's Health. I just recently started my own fitness journey. I feel like I'm just now starting to like my body. I am feeling incredibly anxious about comparing myself to Carly Kloss. I'm worried that I'm gonna see it and feel like I fell short. I'm going to be recreating Britney Spears' Shape magazine cover. In Britney Spears' cover, she's wearing this really cool, beautiful white swimsuit, and this was the best one we could find. I don't have Britney's thigh gap, I don't have Britney's boobs, but it'll be interesting to see someone like me on a magazine cover. So the picture I'm recreating is Simone Biles' cover on Teen Vogue. I do get a lot of comments about how my muscles are too big, that it's very unfeminine of me to have the body that I do. I've never seen a woman appreciated on a magazine cover for strength and muscles the way Simone is. Okay, let's go get photographed basically naked. We're contouring my abs right now, and I've never had makeup on any other part of my body but my face, <laughs> so this is weird. <laughs> Before, I talked a lot of talk, but now I gotta walk the fucking walk. I'm really nervous. I should have gotten a bikini wax for this, so I um, have a little loincloth until it's go time. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I took up boxing a year ago, and so now I box two to three times a week. It's such a wonderful, strong sport, and I love to be able to show that plus-size women do work out. I had a hard time with my face. I'm generally not a very expressive person. I think my eyebrows are just like constantly tense. <laughs> But then I think I just kind of like loosened up a little bit. I tried to look less like I'm posing for a cover and just was like, be a nice person, Jordan, and have a good time. I've seen amputees on fitness covers before, but they're really hot. They don't have amputations as high as mine. They don't have scars all over. I'm also excited to show a part of my body that I don't show to anyone except for my wife and myself. Once a fan hits me, I feel just like Shakira. I feel stupid. It was a lot of fun but I felt really stiff. Someone must have directed her. Like, how do you think, like, I'm gonna just stick my finger in my mouth, but I think it's gonna look good. Nothing was natural about it. I love recreating Khloe Kardashian. It's quite flattering. She's such an iconic pop culture persona. I feel great right now. <laughs> oh, look at me, you guys! I think I was a little bit more nervous than I thought I would be. I'm doing it for Britney. I have a lot more respect for models who just take their clothes off all the time and do this. I think it takes a lot of bravery no matter what your body type is. I am nervous, I'm excited. I hope I just like don't have fear in my eyes. Oh my God, <laughs> that looks awesome. I'm totally not Shakira, but I'm on the cover of a magazine, and my scars are all out there, and it's pretty cool. Ooh. It's a venue to inspire people, to empower people like myself. I'm very happy about that. Oh, wow. The first thing I noticed, of course, was how shocking it is to see myself on a cover, but even more so the text that goes around it. Michelle, at her best, 24, firm, and fabulous makes me think, maybe I am okay at my best. I'm so excited and nervous, I'm gonna die. Oh, what? Wow, what? Seeing my own body on a magazine is really cool. It's really cool to be proud and, and think of myself as glamorous and worthy of highlighting. Oh my God, I'm like shocked. Oh my God. I am really naked. <laughs> wow, that is that is my butt right there.
Okay. I never see bodies that look like mine naked. It's so different for me. <gasps> oh, shoot. This is so good. I really like that you can see the development in my shoulders and that my arms look strong. This whole experience has just taught me to be more proud of my body than I already am. Magazine covers are something that I always compared myself to when I was young, filled me with like a sense of dread that I didn't look like the women. There's something really empowering about just owning who you are and liking it. When I get comments or people telling me things like, oh, but you'd be so pretty if it weren't for the muscles. To kind of take a step back and celebrate being strong helps remind me that it doesn't really matter what other people think. People are very critical with how we look. It starts with accepting and loving yourself. I want to see more diverse bodies on the covers of fitness magazines. I want to see women whose thighs touch. Everyone looks different. That's what's cool. I'm not hiding behind anything. It's kind of insane. This is really fucking cool. Ready? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs>